you're going to learn how to speak clearly and confidently using the power of concise sentences. As one of my consultant friends always says, concise sounds confident. This is part two in a five-part series on speaking clearly and confidently. Here are my three interrelated tips on how to use concise sentences that'll make you sound fantastic. One, avoid long demanding sentences. When I coach corporate clients, one of the most common communication issues I see is that they speak in really long sentences. Essentially, they string two or three sentences together into one long redundant super sentence. That's too demanding for listeners. This could be the case for regular updates at meetings or certainly public speaking situations. I can personally relate to the tendency to want to tell listeners everything you know all at once. You might have a lot on your mind and this might be your one opportunity to share it. But long sentences make it more difficult for your listeners to understand you. It's just like as if you're reading and you come across a sentence in a book that goes for five or six lines long or a paragraph that stretches over two or more pages. That can overwhelm readers. And in the same way, listeners need a break. If listeners cannot follow you because you're long-winded, you won't create the impression that you are clear and confident. That will wear your listeners out. But the question is, how can you avoid long sentences when there's so much to say? My advice is to keep those long sentences, but find a way to break them in a natural spot into two or three shorter sentences. Now, this is the right advice, but it's easier said than done. Many clients are used to speaking in long sentences and they usually struggle at first to get into the rhythm of shorter sentences. So let's talk about tip number two, practice speaking in bullet points. Now speaking as if you're stating bullet points feels stiff and wooden at first, but trust this exercise, it's just practice. And if you train yourself to sound this way, you'll be more clear and confident in actual meetings and in real conversations. I learned the technique I'm about to show you from actual clients that I've worked with. I've noticed that my clients who spoke the most clearly and sounded the most confident spoke in short sentences. To me, it sounded like they were speaking in bullet points, almost as if they had a PowerPoint slide to refer to and they sounded fantastic. Here's how they do it. They make one short statement after another, but each one is followed by a brief pause where the period goes on the slide. They don't say um or uh between the ideas. They just pause silently at the end of each sentence. They also don't connect their sentences with words like and or so. Be on the lookout for those filler words. The top two words that create run-on sentences are and and so. My clear and confident clients don't use them. When they reach a period at the end of a thought, they just pause silently for about a second. The rhythm goes like this. Short sentence, pause. Short sentence, pause. Short sentence, pause. As if they're working their way through bullet points on a slide. So let me demonstrate a before and after example. I'll read one long connected sentence first and then I'll fix it. Here's the long demanding version. I have several steps to accomplish by the end of the day and I have to outline their proposal and run that by the copy editor and then get the final version approved. So I'd likely then add some images and illustrations to bring it to life so it looks professional and polished instead of looking like a rough outline of ideas. That's clearly a demanding sentence for listeners. That's line after line with no break. Now let's fix it. Here's what it sounds like when I pretend I'm speaking in bullet points with tiny pauses in between. I have several steps to accomplish by the end of the day. I have to outline the proposal. I'll run that by the copy editor. I'll then get the final version approved. I'll likely add some images and illustrations to bring it to life. We want this to look professional and polished instead of looking like a rough outline of ideas. Now, neither version is Shakespeare. I'll grant you that. But to make it sound better, all I did was turn that one long sentence into six shorter sentences. The exact same information is in both versions. Now, if you wanted to, you can rewind and practice both versions to hear the difference and feel the cadence or the rhythm for yourself. For your own communication, break those long sentences into two or perhaps three sentences. Pretend you're working your way through bullet points on a slide. And the more you practice this, the more clear and confident you'll sound. I was going over this tip with a client in my Communication Coach Academy recently. He asked how I would translate this tip for one-on-one -on -one or group conversations. And here's what I told them. Use concise sentences in conversations by, tip number three, 
using short talking turns. Conversations should be a dialogue, not a monologue. When it's your turn to talk in a conversation, keep it short. Boil down what you want to say to a sentence or two. When you speak in short sentences in one-on-one -on -one or group situations, you'll absolutely sound clearer and more confident because you're speaking in clear, bite-sized chunks. Some people resist this advice because they want to make sure that once it's their talking turn, they say everything they came to say. And I totally understand that. But I have found the opposite to be true. When they use long talking turns, they are more likely to get interrupted with questions. It's unlikely that most other professionals want to hear all your thoughts on all your topics on your list that day. They want to have a back and forth conversation. It's 100% natural for them to want to respond to each idea in real time. When we're using short talking turns, the conversation is much more satisfying and effective. All of the same good information will come out. It just might come out in smaller digestible bites as you go back and forth. This is all the more important when you're speaking with people above you in the organization or people with high status. They want you to get to the point quickly. If you have a high stakes conversation on your calendar like this, then prepare yourself ahead of time to take short talking turns and make sure it's a dialogue. Don't attempt to monologue with a long talking turn with high status people in business. They want you to lead with the bottom line and then you can both talk about it. In summary, Concise sounds confident. Here's a recap of how to use concise sentences. Avoid long demanding sentences. Practice speaking in bullet points and use short talking turns. If you're benefiting from this series of videos, I encourage you to find out more about my classes and group coaching at my Communication Coach Academy. There's also a full page of free resources, including a free class on the top five essential communication skills that all professionals should have. I'll put links to those in the description below the video. Be sure to take a look at part three in this five-part series on how to speak clearly and confidently by using identifiable talking points. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Until then, thanks, God bless, and I'll see you soon.